Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. I am back with my sob loving brother, <laughs> Rolf. That's me, and she's referencing my t shirt because I do like sobs. Yes. Volvo has a close second, yep. but I'm a big fan of the sob vehicle. Yes, you are. There's one rotting in my yard that I think oh, is yours. Oh, no, don't say it's got your rotting. name on it. It's not rotting. It's, it's, it's I looked at it yesterday and I was like, oh, there's black stuff all over it it's, now. It's, like, it's vintaging getting patina on it's it. It's getting ripe. Yeah, it's it's a perfect car. <laughs> you could go in there and start it tomorrow and drive it away, just put some air in the tires. It's yeah, a yeah, perfect that's car. What I, that's what Bo tells me too. Uh, it'll cousin. run. It'll run, I promise you. I'll start that car right up. I yeah. just go there and I just put a battery, you charge know, I, it up. I quit getting sobs anything after 2002 though because Swedes ran Saab until about 94, and then from 94 to 2002, GM had a part play in there, and then in 92, or 2002 rather, 2002 they came over and said, you Swedes are doing it wrong. <laughs> so they changed it, and GM went belly up with Saab. Oh. In the next five or nine years or whatever it they was. They should have never changed They the shouldn't heart. have touched a thing. The Swedes, they were told this is how we want it done in 94. And the Swedes are like, okay. And then GM left them to themselves. Well, they continued as business as usual. Mm -hmm. And the car everybody loved. And they came in, you're not making enough money, so we're taking over. And that's when it went kaput. So if you can find old sobs, find them, buy them, save them. They're disappearing. Yeah, I know we had a weird little topic on one of our Door County Girl episodes. Remember when I was going to cut across the parking lot to go get Kit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. something? Oh, yeah. And then um, there, there were these two, there, there was this old... Yeah. Sob. But in pristine shape. It was in the a parking nine, lot. It was a 9,000. Yeah, so I ran back in and told Rolf, oh my God, Rolf, you need to, I took a picture of it and I ran into, Rolf was, happened to be sitting in the office. I go, go check out that Saab out One there. One kid was from Arizona. Well, wait, then you walk out there and you're looking at the car and who shows up but these two guys. Young kids. And they had Saab t-shirts on too. Yes, one was from Arizona. It was like a Saab And club. one was from Minnesota and the kid from Minnesota owned the car and I said, well, how is it in such good shape? He said, it's, the car's not from Minnesota. So it was from Texas, and he was looking forever to buy it. And I'm like, how do you guys even know? They were 19, 20 years old, Max. They make Rolf look bad. Oh, they, they knew everything. And I said, well, we made you come to Door County. And they said, well, we saw Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant, and we thought, Maybe we'll see a sob there somewhere. Sure enough, I had, I had one in my yard. I, I and, told but them. I had my 900 sitting in the parking lot, and they came over to look at it. And even though the 900 is a beautiful car, my car is not pristine. But that's what they enjoyed about it, because somebody was still driving it. Yep. So. And so the three of them stood out there, probably talked for an hour. Oh, longer than that. Well, you yeah. guys were ridiculous. Yeah. I thought maybe they had to start bringing food and chairs and in the parking lot. That's talking the thing about, about sobs. sobs. I'd rather talk about El Caminos. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway. Okay. All right. We're here to make a summer drink. And you remember this right from our childhood? Yep. I, th this is my ultimate. You know how when you take a bite of something and it brings you back, back. to when you were four yep. and you were watching uh, the cartoons in the morning eating your Fruit Loops? And I remember when I was four and I sure love Fruit Loops because I could watch Scooby-Doo and um, Johnny Quest while I was Speed eating my Fruit buggy, Loops. buggy, all those things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my thing thing about food and taste or even a song you know yep. what i mean takes you back but this is uh this here is soft we we're gonna call it soft because in sweden it's called soft soft and it's basically a take on a soft drink right it's uh it could be any fruit Remnant leftover, like you can uh, have lingonberry soft, raspberry soft, holland soft, blueberry soft. Yep. So if when you have sometimes frozen fruit in the refrigerator and then you have all that juice left over, um, sometimes you have to add a little sugar to those because they might not be sweetened or not. 
but ours happens to be from Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant when we have our Swedish pancakes. Everybody with, wants a strawberry sauce yep, on And these top. are the juicy strawberries with uh, uh, that they can, you can either get fresh strawberries right. and how or this, you can get the juicy. And how this is just made is just four to one. So you take fresh strawberries, layer them, and you're gonna put four parts of strawberries, uh, I'm sorry, one part strawberries and four parts of sugar. It sounds like a lot, but it breaks down, and then when you use them, you strain off all the solids, and what's left in the very, very end are these buckets. And a lot of people just throw it away, but our mom and dad would take it, bring it home, because my mom said in Sweden, that's where they make their Swedish Kool-Aid out of essentially. Yeah, my mom would never, ever, ever buy Kool-Aid. No way, no never. way. Never, so kids ever. Would, kids would come to our house and say, we like that soft. I'd go to their house and I said, I want some of that, some that cherry Kool-Aid. Kool <laughs> But, but this became the rage of the neighborhood when we were younger. All the kids knew they could make a pit stop at our house to get soft. So and, we're going to go four to one. And it's the easiest thing to make. And you know, making this, Rolf and I are doing our kid version, which is the non-alcoholic version. But I didn't bring a bottle, but you know, you could add a little vodka if you wanted, or you could... Uh, it could be the start of a decent sangria. Yeah, or what about when you put them in a blender and kind of make a frozen oh, drink? Oh, like, like a smoothie or something yeah, like that? Not a oh, smoothie, oh. but like one of those, um, like a rum runner. Yeah. You could add a little strawberry uh, compote. But soft... If you have kids or you just want a refreshing drink in the summertime and you want to have the we, little chunks We in like there. the solids. I understand some people might want to strain it out, but not us. And I know Rolf's kind of busy doing this. I should have been busy doing this. But I tell you, um, I was just telling you earlier my, my favorite soft story. So when you say things take you back in time, my, my best glass of soft I've ever had I was probably about nine years old, and everybody in Sister Bay had dogs. Remember the dogs? Geyser, Caesar, Caesar Smokey, Homer, Timber, Sheba. Uncle, Uncle. Yep. Uh, all these dogs walked around town, all different breeds, and they all seemed to get along fairly well, except for Homer and Caesar. Our dog and, and the barber's dog, yes. which happens to be Wes Katursky and June Katursky. And June Katursky and they, built Al Johnson's. Not Al Johnson, June Katursky built June Al Katursky Johnson's. June Katursky was Al's secretary that did everything. Everything. And her husband had a barber shop, and it was right in their house. Well, he used to have one up on the hill, but then he sure. went to his home. But I don't know if all of you remember, but there used to be a nice house on the corner by Kelstrom. Right, now they got some nice condos now there. there's those condos there but that's where homer lived and homer was caesar's arch oh, nemesis oh boy you couldn't even say the name homer and and, and our dog would be at the window snarling if and i walked home and, from school i always stopped to visit the dogs i'd stop and visit timber and Smokey and uh, sheba and Timber, Smokey, and Sheba were siblings. They were, yeah. What they were? What they, they, they were? were uh, what kind of dogs were they? Um, they were uh, Norwegian elk yeah, or something. Yeah, Norwegian elk hounds. And we'd stop and pet those dogs, and then we'd get to Homer, and that would be fine. But then when you got home, the last scent you had on you was Homer. When Caesar greeted you at the door, at the oh. door. His hair would stand up, and then he would just ignore you the rest of the night. Like, you are not my friend <laughs> anymore. No way. Well, while Rolf was telling that great story, you don't have to garnish it. We never had a garnish when we were little. But if you were going to serve this, like, at a picnic or a party, or you wanted to have it a little more festive, I just have two lemons and a strawberry, and uh, you just need ice. Oh, but I was telling my original story, though, when my favorite glass is soft. Remember that, oh, okay? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. get sidetracked a lot. Oh, yeah, sorry. We look a So, we'd all let our dogs run in Sister Bay. Back then, there was no leash laws whatsoever, and everybody knew the dogs. They knew where they lived. They knew where they can go back home. We'd play with them at the beach all day long, and then at the end of the day, we'd say, Geyser, go home. Yeah, there was never a leash Homer, law. go home. Caesar, go home. <laughs> or if there was, uh, nobody followed Teddy, it, right? go home. Yeah. Uh, Carmel, remember Carmel? Remember yeah. Muffin? All these other dogs, all too. All those dogs. So then, uh, Caesar had a leash on him, but he must have gotten away from. Who we, was Pat Steve's dog? That was Snoopy. A naughty dog. Snoopy. He Snoopy like was anybody. a toughie. He didn't like anybody. He didn't like any dog. He never shepherd. went to the beach. No, he, well, his hair was too long, yeah. and he hated getting <laughs> he wet. He was farm. a good dog for kids, though. Yeah. Fantastic. He just didn't like dogs. Right. But anyhow, so then, oh, Queequee. Don't forget Queequee. Oh, Winky's Queequee. dog. <laughs> but, it was a Chihuahua. Yeah, a uh, mix of, no, a, pa a Papillon or Papillon or something like that. What are the, no, well, it starts uh, with a P. Lasso No, it was started with a P. Papillon or Papillon, whatever those dogs are called. Quee -quee was a, Pomeranian, Pomeranian, maybe. Yeah, Pomeranian. Part Quee -quee. that. Quee -quee. So then, um, anyhow, 
Caesar got away, and he went for a walk, and he got lost, and he went to see his girlfriend, Dusty. Well, he he didn't really get away. Rolf thought he tied him up in the yard with a long clothes leash. Clothesline, a clothesline. Yep, and then Dusty or Caesar decided to go on a walkabout with his long leash. He got loose, and then, yeah, and, he, and so he's dragging this leash along with him, and he went out with Dusty, and they were gone for two on days. On a date. Dusty came back and no Caesar, and he never came back. And we we decided that he must have got tangled up. So and we all the kids in the town got on their stingrays, and we had a search party. We took Dusty, and Dusty eventually led us to Caesar, whose yep. voice was hoarse from barking because he was entangled on a tree stump, like a bunch of sumac. And but like... then we marched back home in, in triumph to say we found this dog, we saved the dog. Let's go to Rolf's house and have some suft, <laughs> and that was the best suft I ever had. <laughs> suft and peppercock. And Celebratory for Dusty finding Caesar, yes. and yeah, and then Caesar, of course, was treated like the king oh, yeah. for days. Dad, Dad brought Caesar home cheeseburgers. He was milking it. Pity pun, uh, oh, everything yeah. is That's like. That's when the dogs were kings. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, every kid knew every dog in town. There now was no my dog. mom is, has a dog, and she doesn't want her dog <laughs> sniffing another dog's butt. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't if bring she... her dog where other dogs are because she doesn't want them to step in anybody's. And dog pee. Poop or potty from another And I said, dog. Mom, that's a dog being a dog. They got to read the news. That's how they figure Here's out who's been Here's my mom where. on a walk with her dog. She'll pick it. We're going on a walk. And she's got her dog right here. The dog here. never touches the ground. <laughs> but when Ralph and I take her dog, that dog that lets loose. And he's going to get dirty. I don't even have him on the leash. He runs all over the farm. Plays with the it, other dogs. Yeah. Gets dirty just like the rest of them. We're, we're lucky Mom doesn't watch these yeah, shows. Don't, yeah, she'd get, have a heart attack. <laughs> An owl's going to fly off with him. Yes. So all here right. we are. Sediment in there. All is well. Looking Let's, good. Like you say, you could always put an adult beverage to this, but it doesn't need one. This is a perfect summertime Ooh. drink. And then I have a little garnish yep. to make it a little fancy. Throw a strawberry in and there. And then I have a little strawberry. On. Ooh, see? I just went like that. Perfect. But you could throw it in there, I guess, if you wanted to. And like I said, you could easily make a oh, single. What? Oh, Swedish fish. What do I have? Drop it in. Taking a little dive, we have Swedish fish. That's like the treat at the very bottom. We didn't have these when we were kids. These are just a luxury now. Who does the, who does the uh, jelly bean at the bottom of the cone? Is that Wilson's? Wilson's. Oh, yeah. It's like that's the like, only reason you want ice cream is to go to Wilson's bottom. and get that jelly bean well, that used, breaks your tooth because it's frozen. I used to love to go to Nor's, <laughs> and I think they still do it in Norwich. They always had a cookie in there. You, oh, you yeah. never inspect it. There was this there. A, a chocolate chip yep. cookie. So. Yep. Well, this is a skull. Mmm. Refreshing. Like summertime. Just like summertime. And again, it's easy. Kids love it. I mean, uh, you don't have to go buy Kool-Aid. No. You can just use what you and have. You, and you can control the sweetness. If you wanted yeah. to make it a little sweeter, just add a little more. Yeah, put a little in mine. I like a little more sweet in mine. I'll just stir this up a little. But you can control it. I, I prefer it a little on the weaker side. Yeah, and you, like I said, this is the kid version, because Rolf and I are kids at heart, and even though we're adults. But you could also doctor it up a little bit with some vodka, or what else? Just vodka, I think. A vodka, would, I think you could make a um, spritzer out of it. Or a mojito or something. Sure, I don't know. sure. And, and, and depending on the fruit you use, too. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Well, this is a very short Door County girl. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a short Door County girl because Hambone over here the other day was supposed to prepare himself for some recipes. But he overslept. Yep. This was a couple days ago. But and my but my sister saved said, the day and she said, What about soft? And I said, Oh my gosh. Soft, it's my favorite drink. And Let's I, do soft. It was a great and choice. I was like, hey, good idea. Great choice. <laughs> so anyhow, don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom of the page. And keep posted yourself on all the Door County Girl happenings. Yeah, you know what we would love? If you guys are making it oh, like let us know what you think of yeah, it yeah our friend dane hartzell oh yeah who we grew up next door to who was one of the kids that probably saved Caesar. oh yeah he was involved he was the ringleader let's go get him with yeah. the big spoon anyway um dane does a lot of our recipes yes. and his turn out better than ours oh, yeah. he'll show a picture and we have to almost delete it it's, because it's, it's, it's like so poke, good poke 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 look yeah. at mine i was like yeah, okay. i think he's trying to rub a little <laughs> salt in our wounds you know you know and so i think his sister gets him a gift certificate at al's once in a while yeah 
He's a meatball connoisseur. He and also pancakes. Swedish meatballs. He's skinny as a rail, but he can eat four orders stacked on top of one another. And all no his, problem. Yep, and all his daughters are a Swedish names. Yeah, yep. And uh, he just loves everything there is to do with yeah. Door County girl. Oh, he loves so Door County. We're happy. He's our number one fan. I think so. I think so. Well, here's to you, Dane. Here's to you, Dane Skoll. <laughs> Mm. I'm sure Dane came over for many glasses of soft. Oh yeah. Hey do everyone. Hey hey. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.